Hello, and welcome to the only YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be talking about one of America's crowning achievements and the fastest legal way to get out of your medical debt, reality television. And, you know, it's hard to forget the classics, like The Bachelor, where a harem fights over one man, or The Bachelorette, where 30 Ken dolls fight over a woman they've just met. <laughs> the, the Bachelor in Paradise, which is littered with homophobic Google reviews. But above all else, we have Fear Factor, a reality show about facing your fears, where if you faced your fears, Joe Rogan would tell you that yeah, fear, fear was not, not a factor, factor for, for you, you, and you just risked your life for half the amount of money that he made in this episode. Did you know that Joe Rogan was the host of Fear Factor? Because I certainly didn't. DMT was DMT. The DMT was DMT. Recalling Fear Factor for me was a lot like, oh yeah, that one show where they had to cover themselves in spiders and stuff, haha. <laughs> but thanks to the entire series being on Hulu, we get to see that I was wrong, and it's substantially more insane than I thought it was. I used to think that Hulu was like a bootleg Netflix, but genuinely, Hulu is just better. Like, have you seen Netflix originals? Are you gonna sit down and tell me that this is good? And that this woman is a comedian? This is so that you can't see what's being tattooed as it's being tattooed, so we can maintain the element of surprise. Only God can judge you. Keep your head up. Thug for life. <laughs> see what I did there? Shocked you, huh? Stop! Fear Factor is a super fun competition where you could get the opportunity to eat a blended rat suck off a goat, and even get bullied by Joe Rogan. He's not even gonna get a foot in here. One of my favorite parts of the show is how they introduce the contestants, like they're a character selection screen from Tony Hawk. Why are they shirtless? This isn't a job. Season one of Fear Factor isn't exactly tame, but it really is just getting their foot in the door for what they could do. Like in season one, they had to swim down in cold water and grab glow sticks, or eat some crickets, or jump off a 12-story building. Which by no means is anything easy. But in episode nine, the first challenge they're given is to climb a 35-foot telephone pole, jump a distance of one and a half times their body length, and hold onto a trapeze for five seconds. Which doesn't seem too hard, because previously in the season, we've seen them get attacked by dogs, jump off of a moving semi onto a different moving semi, and kill a baby. Not that I could do any of that, I could barely tie my shoes. Joe Rogan, if you see this, this is not a challenge. Fear is a factor for me, I don't want to do this. But then it starts to rain harder, and you can see the contestants struggle, and it's honestly a little hard to watch. And then you're like, yeah, this probably is a little hard with the weather, Joe Rogan. Please stop yelling at this woman, Joe Rogan. They kind of pick up the speed during season two, which has a celebrity episode with David Hasselhoff and Coolio in it. And to say Joe's biggest fantasy, there's a Playboy episode with just Playboy bunnies. It picks up a lot more on the grossness factor from this point on. Like, they make them play uterus ski ball. Wouldn't it be really funny if I didn't elaborate on that and I made it sound like they used human uteruses to play ski ball? Wouldn't it? Unfortunately, after season six, Joe Rogan's war crime simulator would be canceled due to poor ratings. I mean, who would have guessed, right, that watching people eat boiled buffalo testicles for six seasons would be unappealing to audiences? But then fuck it, because somebody did, and season seven looks like this. It's bigger. Oh, it's better. And more intense than ever before. It's so hard. <laughs> Welcome back to Fear Factor. Fear Factor's back, and it's crazier than ever. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> Three stunts, one winner, Fear Factor. What? Joe? Joe, you can't do that. Joe, you can't make people waterboard themselves in cow's blood. Where did you get all that? Joe, you can't commit war crimes. I'm like 90% sure that somewhere along the seven seasons of Fear Factor, there's at least a handful of human rights violations. There's even this really cool episode from season seven that never aired, where the contestants were asked to throw horseshoes. And the number that they landed on were the number of ounces of donkey urine or semen that they had to drink. 
which is very cool and fun. <laughs> but also, if they went through with filming that, what wouldn't they film? What didn't make it past the board meetings for Fear Factor? To rebuttal my allegations, this is Joe Rogan, the host of Fear Factor. Oh, yeah, he like, sat down oh, with no, me to answer some of my questions. Up. <laughs> yeah. And then it just makes you think. It's all you think. I'm lying. I don't have an interview with Joe Rogan. I have 200 subscribers. Silly. Also, I forgot to mention at some point, uh, Ludacris became the host. Joe Rogan, this video is a joke. I don't actually think you're a war criminal. I just wanted to clear that up, but I do want to lick your bald, bald head.